My band came to iHeart the day before I auditioned. We were, we were working on some stuff and we came here and played like a happy hour thing. And then I tried out the next day in Brooklyn and then that was it. It kind of went on from there. So they knew I was going to do it, but I don't think we saw it going. It, you know, I didn't either. So the way that it went that far was kind of crazy. I ended up writing on every song on the album, so um, I think that's, it, it caused it to take a little longer, I think, than what's been happening in the past to people that have won these different type of shows, but, um, you know, Scott, Scott, who, who runs my label, was, you know, passionate about kind of letting me be creatively involved, and I, you know, it was unbelievable, I couldn't be more thankful. If I had to vote for Kelly or Carrie, that'd be a tough one. I've always been saying K Carrie, but... I think, I mean, they both had just crazy longevity in the business, which is pretty crazy. But since I kind of like pop music a little more, I think I'm going to uh, say Kelly. I mean, I think anybody is always going to look at the two that you mentioned, Carrie and Kelly. I mean, they're the ones with the two, you know, biggest careers. And I think as well as Adam Lambert's done a really great job at kind of, you know, him, Jennifer Hudson, people that haven't even won have had these massive careers. So. You know, the main objective, I think, is to just come up with good songs. If you can get, if you can get your songs, you know, working on radio and, and social media-wise, having them kind of take off, it's kind of what it's all about. Uh, so that's my goal, is to just keep putting out good, good music. We got nothing but heart, can't just wait here to see what it brings. We got too many hopes, we got too many 